All right, gang. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Cracking Packs. And today we have a neat one for you. We just have a plethora of old, cool, uh, hopefully sweet packs here. Uh, we have Cons of Tarkir 2014 Core Set, Dark Ascension, a Collector's Booster of Ikoria, Modern Masters 2015, Amon Ket, 2012 core set and Innistrad. So there's a lot of expensive cards in these sets. There's an invocations, there's guaranteed foils. There's, it's, hopefully we're gonna find some sweet cards. Let's go ahead and kick it off. We're going to open up this Cons of Tarkir pack. I really want to hit a foil flooded strand. So hopefully we can get that. There's also the three color legendaries that are pretty good. A lot of these packs, I'm not gonna remember what's in them. I'm gonna reminisce a little bit. Cons of Dark Hero is probably my favorite draft format. I remember doing five color morph a million times. Treasure Cruise, look at that. That brings back some memories. That broke modern for a minute. There, there is, there's red decks were playing Treasure Cruise just because it was so good. They just played more fetches and there was a draw three. Team or Charm, oh look at that. Now I'm really bringing back, bringing back the memories. Dig through time. This is like one of my favorite magic cards ever. I played it with Scape Shift and Modern and Splinter Twin. It's just, it's just so good. And then in Legacy, it was good forever. And uh, no foil. All right, so one pack down. Dig through time. And I think, I think that card's like four or five bucks. All right, 2014 core set. This was the Return of Slivers. So if we could get a Muta Vault, that'd be nice. There's a bunch of Planeswalkers too, but I really want like a nice looking Muta Vault. Brindlebore. That's good in uh, the, the Living End decks. At least it was. Modern is such a weird place now with Bubbling Cauldron. Tusker. I remember when this was like breaking the format. It was a, it was a two mana three three. Not anymore. Dismiss into dream. Dismiss into the bulk bin. That's where it's going. All right, next up we have a Dark Ascension. So this set, uh, I don't remember this having too many money cards, but Huntmaster of the Fells is the one card that I really want out of here. And also another neat uh, fun fact about this set is that you are able to pull three rares in one pack in this set. Thought scour. That's a good one. So maybe maybe we'll be lucky and get triple rare. Because there's a flip card in every pack, and sometimes the flip cards are rares. So we could get Hunt Master, Foil Hunt Master, and like a foil something else. There's a there's a playmat that I have of this art. It was like a game day. Oh, that was the rare. The rare is so bad I didn't even notice. All right, we still have some other chances. Oh man, look at that failed chance. In Zendikar Rising, they're redoing these tip cards. There's gonna have there's gonna be a big box that you can write in, as opposed to just like check boxes. All right, we have the Ikoria Collector Booster. So this is gonna be pretty cool. This is there's gonna be a ton of foils here. Okay, so we got that foil beast token. There's a bristling boar, not as good as bristle boar, bristle back boar, whatever it was. Brindle boar of one mind. Look at these cards are so foil, they're blinding me. Look at that mountain. Okay, so here's our commander card. Ooh, Death's Oasis. I wanna, I'm gonna build like a, an Abzan enchantments deck. I think it has potential. Ooh, you know what? These go pretty well together too. I'm gonna build a deck with four of this and then like two of those and then some other stuff. Okay, we're getting, we're getting back to the goods. This has the Godzilla cards in it, so hopefully we can get like a good Godzilla card. Ooh, Triome, if only it was foil. Whoa, Space Godzilla Death Corona. Oh my goodness. Dude, in 10 years, this card's gonna be worth a lot of money. I think, I don't know. 
It's because after this printing, well, collector's boosters are one print runs typically. Uh, there will be no more that say Corona. They change the name, so this is a one and one and only kind of card. And then two rounded out a Cavern Whisperer. So the big money out of that one. I think this is only like five or ten bucks right now, but. All right, so next up we have Modern Masters 2015. So this is kind of a unique pack because instead of the plastic, they're cardboard. And then you get to rip them. I love doing that. You open a whole box like that, it's a great time. They wanted to cut down on the plastic, so they moved to cardboard, but this is... I think they were too easily tampered with, so they decided not to do that again. This is one of those sets I, I really forget what's in this. Well, there was Convoke. I remember casting that card. What else do we have in here? Oh, yes, there's lots of plus one, minus ones. Artifacts was a big thing in this set. Changelings were back. There's the frog, there's affinity, the affinity mechanic. Mortar pod. Pillory of the Slice. This, like, this is a cool prison card. All is dust. Everything gets sacrificed. And what's our foil? Otherworldly journey. It's on a journey to the discard pile. All right, next up is Almond Ket. So Almond Ket has invocations. So if we can get that, uh, I think the Thought Seize was in this set. That'd be awesome. Haze of Pollen, Fog Cards. Everybody loves a Fog Card. Let's see. Magma Spray. Oh, sensor. I love me some counter spells. And you can't go wrong if the counter spell has a draw on it. That's the best. Come on. That's kind of cool art. Cascading Cataracts. This is the Played in Tron now, so they can activate Golos. All right, so no invocation there, unfortunately. All right, 2012 Corset. This one's going to be really, really reminiscent for me because this is the Titans block. This is, well, there's tight they were in a lot of sets, but they were also in this. I remember playing lots of Valakut, Primeval Titan, Primeval Titan, yeah, Kazakh Wolf Run, you know, Primal, Primeval Titan, and whatever else you want the rest of the deck to be. Okay. And I also think, uh, I forget if it says Pondor or Preordain at a common. That's like another good, that's a good draw. Here we go. Act of Treason. I feel like that's in every core set ever. Tunnel in a way. Look at that art. That's kind of cool. The Goblin Tunneler. Even though the cards are bad, sometimes you just got to stop and... Stop and admire the art. Carnage Worm. He's eating trees. What kind of worm eats trees? That don't make no sense. A special kind of worm. Oh, oh man. Rune Scarred Demon. There's no Titan, but it's definitely powerful. Very good commander card. All right, so we're finishing it off with this Innistrad pack. We want Snapcaster Mage, Liliana, Foil Delver. Uh, Innistrad also had flip cards, so we may rip three rares out of this pack. We can hope. We can hope. Let's see. Ghoul. Yeah, they're, they're they're redoing Innistrad next uh, next fall. So this is like a flash forward to that set. Come on, look at that fen snake. It's got two rows of teeth in there. It's gonna eat you twice. Into the maw of hell. <laughs> There's a funny story about some a statement like this. I was in. I was a kid. And I was in, uh, I was in some, you know, I was like seventh, eighth grade, right? And I wanted to be real cool. I wanted to be cool in front of everybody and swear, right? And I wanted to, I wanted to, to say a curse word. And I, uh, they were like, "What's your?" F you know, they went around the room and they said, "What's your favorite band?" And I, I made one up and I said, "The, the demons come from hell or something." I, I don't even remember what I said, but I was like, I said, I said a swear, and you know, everybody was like, "Oh, he said a swear word." And I, I don't know. I felt really cool, but uh, it turns out I was not cool at all. So. All right, lumber knot. So there's a little bit of flashback of my past of how uh, I was the the cool kid in class. Lumber knot. 
That's, I remember playing this card. This card's really cool. Tribute to Hunger. Oh, man. That's our rare Gutter Grime. Oh, there's a couple more cards in here, though. With, um, we almost certainly have a foil, so we can throw this Gutter Grime right into the trash. What do we got? A zombie token? Oh, man. Oh, maybe we don't have a foil. No, we do. We definitely have a foil back there. All right, here it is. Instigator Gang. And then here we go. Can we rip a foil Liliana? Can this be a foil Liliana? Come on. It is not, but it looks kind of cool. That's all right. So let's take a peek at our rares. So nothing too wild here. All is dust is good. Uh, Death Corona, seeing as how that's a, you know, that's like on the reserve list now because it's never going to be printed again. We'll see what that ends up as price wise, but. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us, watching me open some packs. Um, if you want to see more of this content, be sure to like and subscribe. You'll get notified whenever we make new content. If you're looking to get uh, Zendikar Rising product, it is available on our store right now, www.icgstore.com. Set boosters are on there, collector's boosters, regular packs. Whatever you need, we got it, so check it out. But once again, thanks for hanging out, and enjoy the uh, rest of your week.